Hi everyone, today I'm going to take you through my Class AB amplifier, which I got from eBay. And I um, wanted to do a Class AB uh, because um, people say it has less distortion and uh, it's pretty much high fidelity amplifier, hi-fi. Um, so basically the difference between a Class A, B and AB is in Class A, um, the current constantly flowing through the output transistors so that's why it gets very hot in class A and uh, so they're around 20% um, efficient whereas in class B um, it uh, goes on and off there's some sort of a switching involved and uh, so obviously about 50% more efficient than class um, A but that switching sometimes introduces some nonlinear distortions. Now, in class AB, what we have here in um, uh, LM3886, this is the chip I'm using. Um, in class AB, the topology is that um, it's combination of class A and B. And um, so basically, it eliminates the potential switching distortion of a pure class B. Um, I selected LM3886 because of wide, um, very wide input voltage and also very um, low distortion uh, uh, in terms of THD, total hallmark distortions. Um, this particular uh, uh, board. Uh, it's a very good board, nice design, very symmetrical as you can see and it has four LM3886 and it is BTL, bridge tight load and so the expected output is 200 watt RMS. Now I did a couple of modifications well um, obviously um, I connected the heatsink. It's a very small heatsink. Uh, if you go through the data sheet of LM3886, you can, it tells you how to calculate the size of your heatsink, which I think will be four times this. So mine is undersized. Let me turn my oscilloscope off, making too much noise. And um, so I have undersized it. Um, I tried to use um, as much as pressure between the uh, 3886 and my heat sinks and I got a 24 karat gold uh, uh, thermal paste and a silicon uh, um, conductor here as well sorry, th silicon thermal uh, conductive material so what, because I'm going to use two of these I installed these um, thermostat which will trigger at 45 degree Tr trigger my fan I'm gonna install the fan um, now there were a couple of issues with this which I, I I don't know how they did this sort of mistake um, so there is a just come closer if you can see um, it's a dual op amp it's NE5532P and because it needs negative and positive um, inputs we got these two voltage regulators, 12 volt voltage, voltage regulators and these 12 volt voltage regulators um, they have a voltage, maximum voltage inputs of about 35 volts so these um, kind of give a constraint to the voltage inputs of the whole board and because they wanted to make it cheap that's what they decided to do uh, it specified the voltage should be 30 volt negative and positive uh, the issue with this was they selected a you can see it's um, here you can see that 470 microfarad 25 volt capacitor for the input of this uh, voltage regulator now and then you're using this resistor to drop the voltage 
to around 25. That's not very good. And they used this, this capacitor, which is a 50 volt for the output. Now the output is going to be constant anyway. It's going to be 12 volt. I don't know why they're using 50 volt um, here. So it's going to be 12 volt. What I did, I need to change that one as well. In this one, um, I took that capacitor out and put a, a 35 volt one, a thousand microfarad, just for input filtering. Um, yep, as you can see here. And I took that capacitor out and I replaced it by this because this one has a um, higher microfarad and 25 volt it's more than enough for 12 volt output of this regulator. Now the reason that I did that because I wanted to um, increase the input voltage from 30 to 35. It would be on uh, on the um, uh, the limits but I thought it's, it's a good uh, modification and also as you increase the input voltage you can increase the output um, power with low uh, distortion. Now what's important about this class A, B or other many other amplifiers is the, like the signal to noise ratio. And as I said, the, the LM3886, these chips, they have very high signal to noise ratio. These are 92 decibels. I would recommend, if you want to make it from scratch, get the, um, a T version. That means the transistor, it's got a metal plating here, so the heat transfer will be a lot better. This is a, this is a normal one, I mean, if you can see. Yeah, that's about it. So what I'm going to do, I will put these... So these are ready to go and also I probably need to do kind of voltage divider to drop the voltage um, a couple of volts um, so it will be in operating safe level, the, the op amps. Um, it's, it's not a problem because um, this op amp doesn't need much um, power or current. So if you drop the voltage a couple of volts here, you're not drawing much current with your resistor. So that wouldn't be an issue. Um, so make sure you check out my other videos. Uh, where I'm going to put these together with a class D amplifier, uh, which I hooked up with a troidal transformer.